Oh, classic for Grand Finals once what again. What you mean classic? Wait, Mr. Did I e versus Venia. This is kind of new to me. And E sitting in winner side. Oh, this is this new to you. Zeno's new to you. Best of three new to you. This is classic. Z I'm not roasting you. I'm being serious. This is classic Zeno at its finest, man. These guys okay. used to be grand every single week. But I feel like a lot more like other stuff is kind of iconic. Like Jen and Venya, that's iconic. E and Venya, I, I, not so much. It's a staple. Don't get it it's, twisted. It's definitely a classic. Really? Yes. Absolutely. I mean, I guess. She's arguing with people who come to the tournament more than you. Final I'm not destination. arguing! Wait! Ooh, and you're done already. No platforms to be able to escape that. Down tilt to the up smash. My yeah. goodness, he doesn't even need platforms to be able to set that up. 22%. Oh, man, they're just tacking that on even more. Many needs to win four games to be able to win this bracket. Mr. E, only two. I mean, with the way he's going, it looks like it's going to be a little, a, a little quick. It's only the first minute, my friend. Only the first minute, but I agree. You never know what can happen. That's the beautiful thing about Smash. This game can turn around in literally the blink of an eye. Okay. Oh, oh wouldn't that up be? That's going to be a big punish. Oh, actually whipping the dash attack. Never mind. I guess. Oh, but that time. Oh. oh, not getting the strong hit. Actually launching a little towards the right. Not spaced perfectly on the part of any of your key fine. He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> I love that footstool. That's very nice. Oh, this Mr. E is the footstool legend. The footstool legend. He goes for it more than any player I've ever seen, and he lands it more than any player I've seen. Forward smash. Not doing it just yet, but touching the blast zone. See, that's kind of what I was talking about. Yeah. Cena could do that. Oh, yeah. But is it really going to work out? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> Not every time. Oh, neutral air to punish. Then that's going to okay. confirm into the dash attack into the forward air right there. Clean 32 on the part of Eddie, forcing his advantage even further. This game is looking like it already might be over. He can die from another up tilt. That he can. Actually, I don't think another up tilt is going to do it just because he did one and it might be a little stale. Like, see, oh, forward tilt right there? That that didn't send him anywhere. But oh, but that time it's going to do it by the ledge. Getting the meaty hit that time. As we all know, Lucina's difference from Marth is that she is strong all throughout her sword, whereas Marth gets his strength at the tip. What's it? The tip of the sword. I'm trying to make a joke here. It's Don't very make that consistent. Joke. Don't make that joke. No. I'm trying to say that it's inconsistent. It is, but Martha's still an amazing character. When I think about him, at least. Good parry into the down tilt. Oh uh, my God! Ah! Uh, he's. Uh, this is. This is already. He, this is already even. Yo. I guess. A very commending lead, but I guess not no more. Definitely not no more. That was really quick. Only about like a 50% differential now. All but, well, 60 really. But almost about 50. My goodness, Mr. E. Kind of went off. Bringing this back to the depths of hell. Four minutes on the clock. Drifting around that forward smash to get a forward error of his own. Nice. Oh. Oh, and up we go. Nice parry attempt, but... Oh. Yo! Oh, oh. What a read coming out yeah. from Mr. E, and he is bringing this game this all even. the way back. He's got Venya by the, the ledge. He was down 3-1 earlier in this set, my friends, and he wins ah. the game for oh, it, my God. is what I would say. I guess. Evens it out no, instead. Venya with the DI of a god, saying I am down but not they out yet. I was up 3-1. Well, they did. That's that was, wild. It was literally 0.1% off, my friend. I noticed it, too. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so Eight scary. landing that down air to be able to get the up tilt out of it. Spacing the forward air, but Venia able to get his shield out just in time. Not able to get the down tilt to the fair, and Venia will take that first game. Mr. E, almost making one of the greatest comebacks I personally have ever seen. The comeback, it was there. Comeback kid, it was there. They were literally a, a, a decimal off. Oh my god. And we're getting rid of slanted stages. Yoshi's Island. I mean, Yoshi's story, I should say. And Lilat are gone. We are running it up. What stage did they pick? I actually wasn't looking. I think it was town. It was town. I I'm, I might be very wrong. It was Smash. They look, they look very similar. I mean... I... 
we, we, there are two legal Animal Crossing stages. You're bound to get them confused at some point. I, I, I didn't know, get I them confused. I just, I, 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 I made a very educated guess. Yeah, okay. And a rising neutral air by the ledge, not going to do it. There's less space on this stage. I imagine Mr. E wanted to go here just to give Benny a sort of a harder time fighting him because, you know, they both have range, but, like, Lucina has range on, like, everything because she's a sword character. Greninja is not I really technically of, a sword character. That now, nice. Venia actually has to, like, find Wait, space. Wait, what? Venia has to find space to actually be able to play around Mr. E's range now. And when you're on the smallest stage currently in our legal rule set in terms of the actual layout of the stage, not in terms of last zones, kind of forces uh, Venya to kind of box. Exactly, against. exactly. Ooh. It makes it really hard. Ugh. And this is a character who historically does pretty well against sword characters in Greninja. Oh. So, oh. No, no tech and no jump. Both these players got traded with each other to die. Dodge. That looks like about it. Might have been. All right, trying to get a combo off of these falling up airs. Nothing doing. Venia actually hitting the shoulder button on his controller for once and shielding. Ooh, good air to the forward air right there. Oh, he pressed a couple buttons down there that looked a little scary, but he was able to up to make it back regardless. Good dash attack. Low profiling the, forward, uh, the uh, neutral B by the ledge right there in the down tilt. That was actually really cool. I didn't even know Greninja could do that. You're dead. Ah! What in the Sam Hill kind of reaction and forward smash was that? <laughs> My God. Then he he, he kind of landed in front of him and then he just turned around. I was like, he, Yeah, right. No. You saw it. He had time. <laughs> he had time to do it, but Grenin My man Greninja was just like, Damn, is something behind me? <laughs> nah, it's not the easiest thing to react to sometimes. It looked easy, but sometimes looks can be deceiving. And sometimes nerves get to you, you know? Back here's gonna scoop by the lead, uh, by the uh, center stage right there, I should say. Yeah, it scoops up like that. It angles. That move is amazing, Jazzy. Amazing. Okay, I'm sorry. Since we're talking about ice cream, yes, that's an ass match. Uh, ice cream. I like my ice. My, I like oh, my ice. Oh, because the scoops, the hog. No. Thank you. I didn't get my own reference there. I appreciate it. <laughs> Oh, oh, being in the wrong direction. Oh. That's going to be a dash attack okay. to an up smash. 40% already in that. Trying to get the Gimp with the Hydro Pump covering his bases right there by putting one low and one high. Such a smart player in Venia, man. Ooh. My God. He's angled. Yeah, he hits that angle flawlessly every time. Venia doesn't miss that. Oh, okay. Kind of just like got out of disadvantage there for a second. I kind of, that was a... Ooh. I'm kind of noticing that, like, Mr. E is kind of just letting uh, Venya let, like, get in mid stage for free. That was kind of like two interactions where he literally just either dashed past him or rolled behind him, and then he could not punish. Yeah. This very astute observation. Okay. Forgive me, I zoned out for a split second there. It's okay. I don't know. I don't know what just happened to me. Where am I? Mike Zeno? Okay. Back, Back throw. Oh. Ooh, going so, mad low to try and get with that. One thing I kind of want to uh, no, uh, point out is Go that Greninja slightly slows, um, falls down to lower is what I, I think that I, if I remember it correctly, when he's going for a side B. And that's like the only indicator that people have when like looking for that. Ah. Like, he just falls lightly slower. I think that's what Dill told me. I hope I'm right in that, and I got it correct, but I'm not sure. Interesting. I, I wouldn't be able to correct you. We're getting rid of Town and Kalos. My man, my man, okay. Mr. E, he's getting rid of the big stages. Yeah. He does not want Venia to have space to be able to play around. He wants okay. to overwhelm him with his range. I'm so sorry. I want to I wanna just l leave this out here. What's up? I get free ice cream at my school, so. Oh, it's pretty lit. Yeah, you're talking a lot about ice cream, so now I, I'm like kind of thinking about ice cream. They're going to FD. Pretty cool. I wish I could see more of FD, but since I play Bayo, I never see it. <laughs> of course. FD is Unless very. You're leaving. I mean, I'm sorry. Okay. No, it's okay. Was... No, I was just I was adding on to your point. Final Destination. Final Destination is a very polarizing stage in this game. Like, some characters are just deliberately better on it. Like, you're gonna fight Zelda. You want to stage the platforms to be able to be able to get around that. Final Destination. That character goes up like a tier. Oh, yes. It's amazing, you know? So, like, some characters just, you know, go up a little bit better on this stage. 
but when you go on Unova, it, they literally go to like uh, Sincere or something like that. Yeah, and you'll find that Town and City and uh, Town and City and Kalos Pokemon. Wait, did I say Town and City or Unova? I hope I said Unova. I'm so sorry. No, 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 you did. I was I was making my own point. Okay, no, I was just making sure. No, 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 uh, don't worry about it. Don't. That was me making my own point. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm, Town I'm, and City and Kalos were the ones that were banned, and we went to the uh, third oh, final yes. destination on the stage list. You have a lot of I wonder big why stages. that happens. Yeah. Jersey, baby. This is not Jersey. Wait, what? No, I'm saying Jersey, baby, because we don't have that. Okay, but they have Unova. That stage is good. It's okay, but I mean... That's true. I don't got it. Anyway. <laughs> Ooh, good back here. Off and off. Okay. Up air. Kind of fell out. Neutral reset again. Nice. Benny is just adding on insurance after insurance. Deal after oh. deal to the stock. And just as I say that, we get ourselves a little commentator's curse, which I don't use that term too often. But that's what happened. I was literally just talking about how well he was forcing his advantage in that SD. So that SD could cost him this tournament if he is not careful, Mr. E. Up a whole stock going low, being patient to get around that hydro pump. Does it, does it, um, effects still apply even if you air dodge? Effects? What do you mean? So you know how you like kind of move up if you um, like get hit or you like hydro pump, you know? Does oh, like thing... if you get pushed by hydro pump when you're in air dodge? Like, does that still happen? No, that um, that shifts your hurt box. Oh, okay. That, sh that shifts your, well, it doesn't shift your hurt box, it makes you intangible. So like you still oh. do go, um, you still do go around it if I'm not mistaken. But then okay. while you're recovering from the lag of it, you will still get hit. Okay. Yeah. Nice to know. Unless I'm mistaken, which I'm pretty sure I'm not. I play a character that has, you know, like water. <laughs> so I, 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 I'm pretty sure I know how the properties of that move work. Venia, attacking on. Stop. Getting, a, getting, getting the first Hydro Pump gift I've actually seen him do all day. Sucks. Yeah, he finally like Hydro Pump gift Mr. E, and that was the first one I've actually seen him get all day. Like, you see him go for that so often and he doesn't land it, but it's because it's safe. He gets to return back to stage to do it and he covers his losses. It's very smart. Three options. Already 60% on Mr. E right here. Will he be able to bring this game back like he almost did with the first one? Yeah. Ooh. Down smash. The parry oh, right there. Mind. And just spacing down tilt being safe. He's been doing that a lot. And Venia actually told me that today. He does uh, down tilt to down smash a lot to try to cover tech chase's ins. Yeah. Tech chase it's ins, really I should good. say. And we are down to the potential final stock of this tournament. This is the final stock of the first grand final set. Mr. E down about 60%. Venia trying to close it out right now, and he does not right there. Air dodging back in and was waiting patiently with his double jump right there. Slowly but surely drifting back in oh, to get around the hydro pump. on that. That was the nice. Strong dare. Able to get clean damage off of it. Mr. E. Oh, rolling back in, but that's going to do it. Oh, not wow. Yet. Right towards the corner, making me eat my <gasps> words. That oh, was scary. Good that was scary. Mr. E. This whole situation is scary, man. Venia just trying to close out this game to get another lease on life. Ooh. And then he finally does. We're going for another set. He tried to jump out of that. Yeah, he did, man. Couldn't do it quick enough going back to Double our zero team. bands. True finals, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at Zeno. That's what we call it over here. True finals? Yes. The best finals. Pretty much. It's so lame what we call it in Jersey. We call it like a reset bracket. Ugh. Oh. Whatever. It doesn't sound as special when you put it like that. Right? These guys, man. So anime. Start the battle. Ran in and here we go. Uh, I'm going to assume they that ran it back to that, Final Destination. That, that song was kind of perfect. I mean, perfect for like uh, what was going on there. Yeah. Or what's about to happen. Yeah. One, sorry. I assume they went. Sorry for what? <laughs> it's, it's, don't worry about it. I need I, to uh, point that out. Yeah. Final destination Song is the pick choice. again. Out of the starter stages, I wouldn't imagine them going anywhere else. Wait, that's FD music? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh. All right, just spamming these neutral bees. Just needling his way back. Just trying to needle his way back in to make sure nothing happens. Mr. E. Light. Back air. Oh. Okay. You're dead. Okay. No, not yet. Not yet. I like it. Not off of that. Oh, man. In the back air. Off the level right here. Trying to two-frame him with the forward smash right there. Nothing doing. 
About a minute has passed already. Almost two minutes, I should say. And no stock has Ooh. been taken yet. Both these guys playing a lot more careful than so they nice. did in the last set. I, I I just want to point this out about Venya. Like, just him as a Greninja, I really like the way he's kind of using Greninja's speed. And just, like, like the way he uses dash attack, it's, like, kind of not, like, it's not forced. It's, like, kind of, um, it, it's just there. And it's, like, he's using it so well. Yeah. Especially, like, against Lucina, where... He um like he he's expecting Lucina to just use forward air. Yes. So if he just runs behind him and grabs him, that's like literally perfect. That's off your cap right there. That's gonna be a nice down air. That is like the one time where like Greninja never stops playing Smash 4. When he like still runs under you just to try to get pivot grabs. It's like as close to running through opponents and doing it as we can get. I missed that. And I'm actually I miss perfect pivots more. That was a change I didn't think I was ever going to get used to, but I think it's a better one. But that's a that's a discussion yeah. for another time. Final destination. Still this stage pick right now. 30% differential between these two immaculate players here in grand true finals, I should say, on Xeno 202. These guys just swinging for the fences right here, both literally and metaphorically. Okay, Ooh, good catch. Okay. One, two, and a three amounting to nothing as that one back air on Mr. Ease will send him right around chasing. Ooh, he probably wanted that uh, yeah. counter. Tried to catch him doing a BP up B right there. I'll be past the ledge. That can happen by accident it, if you're not careful. Um, not it, It's not that it hits, um, and that it, he goes above the ledge. It's that it still hits, like, them, even though, like, you know, he didn't go past the ledge. It right. Still hits. Good point, good point. Dash attack. Oh, and waiting patiently for the forward air and the air dodge. Last stock of the first game already. Both these guys showing that they're very evenly matched. They play each other a lot. They can go pretty tit for tat, and they often do. Zeno so you know Weeklies, baby, because some of the finest of the finest. Best Lucina in the world, best to Ninja. I kind of just love how, like, everyone at Zeno is, like, e like there, there's obviously a really good amount of players here. And uh, with that alone, they're always finding new ways to beat each other. Oh, yeah. That's what's like, amazing about it, you know? It's like sort of the opposite of patch culture. Like These just, guys always are just playing around each other, you know? Like, like they're always just, like, kind of um, just learning new things they can about the matchup, and that's kind of what I love about Xeno. Like, you don't really see that too often in, like, most locals. One of the most stacked locals in the country for a reason, my friend. This is what happens here, it's, you know? It's never boring when you're here. Never boring. Ooh, Ooh. falling neutral air to the up tilt. Gorgeous. Wow. That's a thing. I'm pretty sure that works. Unless I'm mistaken. I don't think I am. And see, Kalos Town again. He's trying to get rid of the big stages because he wants to create as little space as possible to play neutral with Venia. He wants to overwhelm Venia in the neutral with his range to try to keep that character out and try to make it very hard for uh, Venia to approach. And then whenever he does, he just gets stuffed out by Lucina's superior range. That's why we keep going to Final Destination. It's one of the biggest stages that we have, and flattest stages that we have, of the stages that, you know, Mr. E banned. Yeah. I'm not surprised that we're spending this entire set on Final Destination, my friends. I'm really not surprised at all. <laughs> I, I feel like this is like, you know how you're always seeing PS2 at New Jersey? Oh, we're seeing FD. Oh, we're seeing FD here. But we love it, though. But we love it. Wait, no, PS2 is a New Jersey thing, right? Yeah, it's yeah, of course. New Jersey. I just wanted to make sure because I couldn't remember. Forward air. Stalling himself safely, bouncing off the shield with the down air. And up we air. go. That's dead. Wow. I definitely think Venya had a um, lead in the last game and he lost it because I don't know how he lost it, but I just know that he lost it. So now I'm curious to see, like, What's uh, gonna be a little bit different about like what they're doing? That was ooh, that edge guard nice. You're dead. And yo, ooh, that was a sure side. He actually kind of helped him a little bit. I feel like he was dead regardless. But my word, going so deep for that edge guard. He knew he could afford it. He had the stock. You know, whatever he missed, he would still be up. I mean, but seeing the way that literally game well, oh, game oh, and a second oh, one God. off the weak hit and then the strong one respectively. It doesn't Another matter. Another one. This guy will be able to oh. react. Oh my God. My heart, it can't take no more. My little jazzy heart. Down air, off the back. Send him left. Send him left. Tell him. 
Tell him, Jazzy, what do you want to say? He tried to read an air dodge with the Nest Smash. He would have been dead. He would have. But anyways, he's going to die. These players are immaculate, man. Oh, there. Down tilt by the ledge. Ooh. Nothing doing. Up smash to reset it. Mr. Yeah. down to his last stock of this game. Benia needs this to stay alive. Ooh. Ooh, what a good forward smash. Baiting him out. Uh, not baiting it out, but reacting to where he was going to land. kind of landing a little bit weird here. Ooh. What a scoop. Waiting for the up smash. And we are down to the last stock of the second game once again. These guys, they're too good for each other, man. Something else. Dash attack. Okay. Up air. Not going to do it yet. Not from oh. there. Needs to be a little higher towards the top, which he can't be because there are no uh, platforms on Final Destination. We He's all trying to kill this. him without still again. Or, well, that was still, but he wants to do it. Yeah. Absolutely Absolutely don't kill. Do it regardless. That's There you go. The, the great neutral B. Start killing there. Yes, excellent water sure you can buy Venia and the neutral. We are going down to the final game of Xeno 202. The Xeno Classic. Venia, Mr. E, who you want? I'm going to go with the homemade waffles here, and I'm going to say press 1 if you want Mr. E to win. Press 2 if you want Venia to win. Why not 0? That's sort of a Smash Classic. Uh, this, is a, this is a commentator, homemade waffles. He coined that term wait, years what? ago. I'll tell you I'll tell you about that later. I'm, wait, hold on. I'll tell you about that later. I'm We're on the final game on Smashville. Ooh. Wow. I did not expect that trade. I wasn't expecting to go to Smashville. Maybe he thought that Venia adapted too hard on Final Destination, wanted to go here. He had the choice of the small stage. Like I said, Mr. E just wants a small stage. He wants to just effortlessly box Venia out with his superior range and make, you know, less make less space for him to be able to play neutral and run away. It makes perfect sense to me, especially considering how good and of a character Greninja is against swords and what a forward smash. You're done already. So good. Oh god, Venia might just take this damn Xeno. I mean it's definitely possible. He's done it before. When was the last time that Mr. E went to Xeno? Uh, you'd have to ask Devin. Devin! I don't Either recall. Way. Okay. Smashville. Small stage, they're, man. Lights brining up. Happened Almost again. the exact same percent. <laughs> they were 0.1% off. I love it's it. Crazy. Oh my god. It's wild. It's wild. Oh, wow. Going, Oof, I don't that. blame him for going deep for that. When you're the one who's in, like, who's down a stock, you're the one who has to less. The forward smash does not take the stock. When you're the one who's down a stock, you gotta learn how to take some risks to be able to take those stocks. Because your opponent, when your opponent at his advantage, it's gonna be his or her job to make sure he does not get touched. He or she does not get touched, I apologize. You know, it's... Being a disadvantage is when you're the one who has to press a button. Because when you're an advantage, you never have to approach your opponent if you don't want to. But, you know, it's all about how the player who's down a stock evens out the deficit. And there we go with the raw neutral air in the neutral dead center stage of Smashville right there to be able to slowly but surely attempt to bring this back. Mr. E is out here, but he's going to have to do it all again because we're down to the fine... He's down, he's down to his final stock, I should say. I, I, I know this is not an edge guarding situation, but I feel like the times that Venya does choose to um, go straight up kind of gives uh, Mr. E a chance to just spike him. And I'm not sure, like, if the, it's still the same distance, even if you do, like, angle it slightly to the up right and then yeah. just, like, that way. I don't know if you could do that, but just to kind of avoid losing a sweet spot on down air. Yeah. That is very true. Nice grab. Forward throw, probably. Yep, there we go. Back air is definitely not going to kill. Forward smash would have been pretty damn close, though, if you got that by the ledge. I don't blame him for doing that, especially since he spaced it right. Ooh. Nice ledge jump. There. Here we go. There's the water sure you can. Good ninja star. Fighting his way back in. Still that up a whole risky. stock is Venia, man. He's tacking on the percent. Ooh. Is your jump gone? It is. And that is the Ooh. tournament. The insurance on the way back. He didn't mean to do that, but that was insulting. That was just insulting the hydro pump on the way back. And that is Venia taking this tournament over Mr. E with his Zeno patented too. frog.
Okay. 202. Yes. So I want to point this out because I just noticed it, but then Mr. E never really put um, Venya in this situation again. But again, with the le or edge guarding, when I, I kind of just want to, I like looking at it because yeah. every time I see someone in edge guarding, I want to, I, I like how they kind of take note of their jump. So, like, obviously, if you have something to force someone to jump, they're going to have to go back to the ledge because they're not just going to go right over you. They're going to have to go back to the ledge. And I'm kind of like, I, I, I saw Mr. E kind of jump, but he wasn't really right there to get that kind of, I feel like he could have downed it or something mm -hmm. to kind of, um you know, make sure that Venya can't come back because right. 